fourth quarter of 2014, the progress of the MRT Sungai Bulu Kajang Line hit the milestone 50% mark. As of 31st December 2014, the project had reached 58.54% completion, slightly ahead of schedule. The construction of the nine-level multi-storey car park for Sungai Bulu MRT station has reached the sixth level. The largest multi-storey car park in the project will fit 1,200 cars. Kampung Slamat MRT station is currently undergoing structuring and wall piling works. This station will have direct access to a mixed residential development square, offering convenience to residents of the development, as well as opening up a larger market to businesses that will be located there. Such convenience and improved accessibility will all go well for the property values within the near vicinity. At the Sungai Bulu Depot, wall plastering and general M&E works progress throughout the quarter. At the Sungai Bulu Depot, a total of 18 work trains will be utilised during the project construction phase. A work train typically consists of two locomotives and three wagons and is able to pull a trailing load of 150 tonnes. 36 locomotives and 54 wagons are used in the MRT construction. The main function of the locomotives for this project is to transport heavy materials and equipment to and from various works locations along the train alignment during construction. At package V1, more than two kilometers of guideway was completed in quarter four. This covers three MRT stations spanning from Sungai Bulu MRT station to Kwasa Damansara MRT station. Construction works at Pasa Muhiba during the quarter saw more than 300 meters of guideway built. The special spans construction was planned and executed with the cooperation of the traders at the site. Throughout the quarter, MRT construction works continued along Persiaran Surian. Along the major thoroughfare and into the Bandar Utama driving range, piers can be seen at various stages of completion towards the Mutiara Damansara and Bandar Utama MRT stations. Similarly, construction progress continued along the busy Jalan Damansara beside Taman Tun Dr. Ismail. Parapet installation on the fully formed guideway is presently taking place. In the quarter, the 2km stretch reached 40% completion. The structural works for Filo Damansara MRT station is at its concourse and platform levels. This park and ride MRT station has two entrances, catering to the business and residential communities at both sides of Sprint Highway, namely Section 17 and Filio Damansara. Trailers carrying heavy tandem SBGs are only mobilized at night. Public safety and traffic management are paramount in the MRT construction. High-risk activities such as the launching of the segmental box girder are done at night to minimize the traffic impact to motorists. Architectural and mechanical works continued at the Pusat Banda Damansara MRT station. Beam and portal works continued at the Samantan MRT station. The massive 6,000-ton structure, which weighs as many as 158 MRT train cars, will straddle both sides of this area of Jalan Samantan. To mitigate traffic impact, heavy works are done at night with traffic diverted through Changkat Samantan. The public is kept informed via radio and social media announcements. Committed to provide a safe construction work environment, the Zero Tolerance Program ensures that workers are equipped with the right safety awareness and competence.
An interface between the underground and elevated alignment seen here is the advanced progress of the Maluri portal going towards Taman Pertama MRT station. Regular stakeholder engagements were conducted with the residents of Sri Sabah Flats and Namkyong School that enabled smooth construction progress with minimal social impact. The installation of sound barrier to reduce sound impact during future train operation started on the completed guideway along Jalan Churas. Spanning 284 metres, the special crossing at Jalan Churas took six months to complete. The real challenge lay in the implementation of traffic management plan, involving a contraflow at the congested Jalan Churas to facilitate the construction work to ensure public safety and convenience. One of the many engineering feats is to build the MRT guideway between the limited space of the MRR2 highway and Chiras Taman Billion roundabout. This 100-meter special span in elevated package V7 is the second major special crossing to be constructed in the entire Sungai Bulu Kajang line. The Traveller 4 method was used because it requires minimal staging support, resulting in less impact on traffic. This special span is a continuation of the guideway from the Bukit Dukung MRT station to Taman Koprasi Kupex MRT station. Physical progress of the Kajang Depot is at 55%. Another special crossing in the project crosses the Saujana Impian interchange of the Cheras Kajang Highway using the balanced cantilever method. To facilitate construction works at the Sungai Kantan MRT station, the Sungai Merba Bridge was relocated for a smoother traffic flow at Jalan Cheras Kajang. As part of the Environmental Management Programme, ongoing river improvement works are being implemented at Sungai Langat. Structural work for the six-level multi-storey car park for Kajang MRT station is ongoing. This MRT car park is integrated with station KTM Commuter Kajang. With effective planning and execution, the overall master implementation program of the KV MRT project is progressing commendably. This is evident in the near completion of civil and structure works. The next work phase scheduled in 2015 will be focusing on systems, testing and commissioning as major civil works come to completion. This augurs well for the project to meet the deadline of full completion by July 2017.